We're here today in D.C. to show our support for free speech, no matter where that individual happens to be. We're here to support Kareem, who blogged uh, some content that the Egyptian government didn't like, and they sent him some, to four years in prison. So today's the second anniversary of his imprisonment, and we're here to stand with him and everyone else whose rights are trampled by governments. I don't think that expressing yourself is a crime. What they did to Kareem was wrong. Around the world, they're putting people in prison for the sorts of things that we take for granted here. This is a simple, basic human right. It's a universal right. No one should be imprisoned for their opinions expressed in a peaceful manner. We work to introduce these ideas to others. Many agreed with our stance. We also wanted to ensure that those working for the Egyptian government knew of our support for Kareem. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, express disapproval, I guess, of, of what the Egyptian government has done to the blogger Kareem. Yeah. Basically, we're here to make a stance. You know, we're saying people have the right to, to express themselves freely, and uh, we think I'm he's agree incarcerated. With human being, you, know? you, you agree with that? Yeah, I'm agree with human being. You know? Okay, but you know, I'm living here for a long time. Okay. In America. That's human being. Right. If you could communicate, well, there is a lot of support for Kareem for free speech to the, to the people you work with. I'm not supporting him because just one thing, he's a human being. Okay. And that's his life. He can do what he do. It's his right to speak out. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's his life. Okay. All right. All right. Great. Thank, All right. You. Thank you. Or to put it just a bit more eloquently. We call on the Egyptian government just to live up to its treaty obligations and to show that it's a, a government uh, that follows the rule of law. Uh, it's a message of friendship that will, we hope, lead to a more flourishing, robust international discourse and debate. Stand with us against government-imposed censorship. Yeah.